What's up guys, this is Sang here from Exiled Power, the two-day raiding guild on Arthas, and I am here today to talk about Demon Hunters. And I, I am excited because if you don't already know yet, the Demon Invasion is almost here. We will finally have Demon Hunters available on Tuesday. Uh, I know I'm personally excited because I didn't get beta access, so Blizzard, shout out, you should hook me up next time. Um, so, I'm maining a Demon Hunter in Legion. I'm currently playing a Subtlety Rogue. I played a Windwalker Mock before that. Um, but I'm going to be swapping to Demon Hunter in Legion. And so I just wanted to give a real quick preview today of what to expect in the pre-patch on Tuesday when Demon Hunters come out. Um, kind of what you can expect for gameplay, at least what we've heard from devs in the last few updates in the last week or two. Um, and kind of give you an idea of what what Demon Hunter is going to look like and whether it's the right class for you. I'm going to give my impressions of the class, kind of what I'm excited about, what I'm not excited about, and hopefully um, it will help you kind of develop your own opinion. Uh, be sure and keep an eye on the Exiled Power channel starting Tuesday. I'm going to be releasing a ton of Demon Hunter footage from raid gameplay to dungeon gameplay to leveling gameplay. Um, and just talking about the class, what it feels like, what it's going to look like. So um, today is probably going to be pretty short and sweet. So expectations for Tuesday. Um, so in the pre-patch, because of the way Demon Hunters level, um, they're going to get most of their talents and their abilities from 100 to 110. Um, so they're only going to have access to the first couple of tiers of uh, talents in the pre-patch, which means they're going to be extremely unbalanced and extremely undertuned. So if you're expecting to play Demon Hunter and top the meters, um, go ahead and remove that expectation. It's not going to happen. Um, but starting in Legion, you're going to gain a lot more than other classes more quickly. Um, you're going to get more stats, you're going to get talents, you're going to get things like that, and gameplay is going to get a lot better. Um, all content in the pre-patch will be available for Demon Hunters, so garrisons, you can do raids, you can do dungeons, you can do all that, um, excluding the Broken Shore intro. Okay, That's the only thing that won't be available. Um, gameplay. Here's what the devs have said about the gameplay. Now I'm going to give my impressions of this in just a moment. So baseline, they have designed Demon Hunters to be very, very simple. If you've seen any of the videos, any of the gameplay, you know it's not a complicated class. And they have said verbatim that there will not be as wide of a spread between the best and the worst players that play Demon Hunter. So skill is not going to cause you to do astronomically higher DPS on a Demon Hunter than it will um, if you're a new player, if you're, if you're not a very experienced, like familiar player. Um, but there will be a spread. Okay, as with all classes, there will be a noticeable difference between good and bad players. Um, so a key example of this is the Demon Blades talent. So Demon Blades talent essentially removes your um, your resource generating ability from your rotation, and it happens passively. It makes it easier. Okay, and this isn't surprising, right? They they want a lot of people to play Demon Hunters. It's designed to bring people back. Um, the rotation, like I said, baseline is very simple. You have the opportunity to make that more complicated through talents. Um, and just kind of just so you know what to expect, the top DPS talents at this point are very, very movement heavy. So you have um, momentum, which causes basically any of your abilities like Vengeful Retreat and Fell Rush that cause movement to increase your damage done. Um, that, that's the best talent at this point, and they have no plans to change that. Um, with that being said, Vengeful Retreat, if you know anything about it, the way to maximize damage now is through animation canceling. Okay, they've come out and said they do not want it to function that way, so you should not be able to cancel those animations, so don't don't count on that. Um, another talent, Fellblade, is basically the required talent in the tier if you want to add some complexity to the class. Um, it basically just adds a chance to reset that cooldown when you're using your Demon's Bite as another ability into the rotation, so if you want more complication, you're kind of obligated to take that. Personally, playing Subtlety Rogue, I enjoy complicated classes, so that's probably what's going to happen for me. Okay, so um, those are kind of like the base things they've said about the way, the direction they're going with the gameplay, and what to expect in pre-patch, and even kind of what their plans are for Legion. Everything seems pretty set at this point. Um, They've said if they're going to make changes, it's probably going to be in Legion once they get a lot more experience with Demon Hunters at max level, seeing other compared to other classes, things like that. Okay, so I wanted to give you a list real quick of things I'm excited about, things I'm not excited about, and kind of what my expectation is moving forward. And obviously these will be updated um, as Tuesday happens, and then as Legion comes out, we'll see more and more. I'm going to release a ton of Demon Hunter content. So, things I like things I like. And there's a lot of things. There's four things I like. 
Um, the first is that movement play style seems uh, the movement heavy play style seems viable with raid design. So if you watched any of the boss fights that have been released by Fat Boss and other other guilds like that, um, a lot of the boss fights are extremely movement heavy. A lot of the dungeons are very movement heavy. So a movement heavy top DPS Demon Hunter spec fits well with that. It, it gives you a lot of a lot of movement. They have said they don't have quite as much movement as monks now. But monks are kind of ridiculous, right? They have a, a crazy amount of movement, and demon hunters are definitely right there after them. So that's very good for a raider. Um, second, while it's not necessarily complex, everybody, Preach, these other guys testing it, say the gameplay seems fun. It's very enjoyable to play. Okay, And, and my note is, is that complexity can be added from talents and trinkets. Um, so trinkets that are added and... Uh, talents that are added and also set bonuses from tier gear so if you take warlords of drain or subtlety rogue for example baseline it's not that complicated it, it's really not it is more so than some other classes but you throw in tier bonuses you throw in uh, soul cap you throw in other trinkets and the gameplay changes drastically okay that's not ideal for me but it, it shows promise because I like complex and so it can be added later they prove that in warlords of drain um, another thing I like, uh, the design of the class is going to bring in a lot of players, which is going to provide a ton of feedback, which means balancing should be quicker. Okay, so if it's unanimous in this massive Demon Hunter community that something doesn't work or something isn't enjoyable, I think Blizzard is going to respond to it very, very quickly because Demon Hunters are supposed to bring people in, and they want people, a wide variety of people to play the class. So they're going to get a ton of feedback from a very large community, and I think changes will be quick. Um, the last thing I like is that um, Demon Hunter tanking, okay, I, I don't talk as much about this because I'm going to be Havoc, but tanking utility and movement are in very good places. Okay, They've said that in Mythic Plus dungeons already, um, Demon Hunter tanks are performing very very well because they have a ton of utility they have grips they have silences they have slows they have stuns they have all these things and they have a ton of movement they basically have heroic leap um, they have several other kind of dashes and things they can use to get around okay um, utility and movement are in good places and number balancing is gonna come okay they're not gonna leave it so that demon hunter tanks don't perform well at all okay so I'm looking at base what do they have to start with they're in a very very good place so if you're gonna demon hunter tank you're starting out very strong, okay? Starting out very strong. Things I don't like, and I'm not going to lie, these are pretty big. I'm still going to main Demon Hunter, but right now they're very big. Um, the first thing I don't like, okay, the class is, is literally designed, they said this, is designed so that the skill gap is small. And here's my problem with that, okay? I think when you design it that way, it doesn't help less capable players, and it limits good players, Okay, so when you make a class baseline very, very easy and simple, it doesn't make bad players better. Okay, and I understand some people play it casually, but you don't have to play this game hardcore to master a class. Okay, we raid two days a week, and I feel like I've basically kind of mastered Subtlety Rogue. Um, you don't have to play all the time to master a class, and making it designed very simple doesn't help bad players. It, it hinders them. It prevents their growth. Okay, and, and good players that like to get creative, that like to um, really kind of really master a class and min-max and, and utilize very complex gameplay aspects, it limits them. It hinders them from doing those things, and I have a very real problem with that. And it's very easy to say that they designed it this way to bring in players, right? Demon Hunter is supposed to bring a lot of players back in that have quit the game, okay, that might be kind of getting bored with the game. They throw in this new class that's been desired for a long time. Okay, I, I don't agree with it being designed to limit skill gap. Okay, I think skill gaps encourage growth. And if we have a long expansion, right, if we have a Warlords of Drain or Linked Legion, I want a lot of time to master a class. I don't want to have it mastered one weekend, right? So that's a big deal for me. Um, second, uh, dividing talents into simple, okay, like uh, Demon Blades being low DPS and more complicated being high DPS limits player creativity. Okay, so in my mind, I'm going into Legion basically already knowing what talents I'm going to choose. Okay, 
and that's in every scenario so it's not like okay in an AOE scenario this changes or in a single target scenario this changes I know what I'm using and there's no room for creativity in that because I want complicated and I want max DPS and they've said these are the talents for that okay most other other classes their talents are relatively like controlled but there's still some room for creativity and demon hunters don't have that okay I, I like to have some viability I like to change things up and things might happen like I said through trinkets and talents and things like that but right now they've said very clearly that their design is a small skill gap and talents are designed by what's going to do the most damage and it limits player creativity once again um, I think there are better ways to do that I think you can make a baseline more complicated class okay and provide talents that make it easier and also provide some that make it more complicated you don't have to hinder player creativity okay but nonetheless we're gonna get our hands on them on Tuesday they're gonna be very unbalanced prepare yourself for that but we can finally start testing them the community I know is gonna be very vocal and Blizzard is usually good about responding to their big vocal communities okay so uh, if you find this video helpful okay you're thinking okay maybe I wanna try Demon Hunter this answered some questions please hit subscribe down below it helps us out a lot or like the video leave a comment you can ask me some questions I'll get back to those as soon as I can Okay, and definitely be sure and keep checking out the channel going into Legion starting on Tuesday. I'm going to have some day one videos come out, so be sure and check those out. Okay, for all things Demon Hunter, keep an eye on uh, me, Sang from Exiled Power. Appreciate you guys for watching, and hope you all have a great day.